updated. In the meantime, all new tonight, protecting your money. Arizona Attorney General Chris Mays alerting us to a recent scam on the rise, and it's tied to something gaining in popularity. Bitcoin. Her warning for everyone tonight to do your research before using Bitcoin ATMs. We're just seeing uh, an increase in the number of people who are being scammed and defrauded by um, Bitcoin uh, ATM machines and, and just Bitcoin scams in general. And people are losing enormous amounts of money, in, in some cases, tragically, life savings. The money just disappears. It is terrible and so much money is being lost. Arizona Attorney General Chris Mays says her office is now trying to spread the word. If it's Bitcoin related, really do your due diligence. Make sure that you know what you're getting into and um, do everything you can to verify uh, what it is that you're giving your money to. Is there a best place to do that that you suggest right now? Um, you know, one, one thing that you can do is just contact our office um, and go to azag.gov if you have a concern about something and we can help out. Um, we can sort of help a person determine um, whether they, you know, this thing is a scam um, or a, a, a fraudulent practice. She suggests the Better Business Bureau as a resource, and she also has one very important thing to remember. No government agency or official agency will ever ask you to pay in Bitcoin. So if you're getting a solicitation that says, I'm, I'm a government entity or I'm a representative of a government uh, agency, and I want you to pay in Bitcoin, that is a scam. It's absolutely a red flag run in the other direction. You know, once, once you have wired the money out of your bank account, it is really hard to get it back. Yeah, really hard to get it back. And she told me it's especially heartbreaking because sometimes people have sent off their entire retirement funds or their life savings, and it is absolutely just gone. We want to remind you, though, the resources are there to protect yourself. I put the link for the Attorney General's website and the Better Business Bureau with this story right now on ABC15.com.